Our next topic, transportation modeling, follows nicely from our last topic, which was supply chain management. So let's get started. We can use transportation modeling to help find efficient and effective distribution routes, which is one of the major areas of supply chain management. In essence, it allows us to find the best way to move products from some, sort, some set of sources to an often different set of destinations. The sources could be a set of production plants. The destinations could be the distribution centers or warehouses. Best is often defined as the lowest cost for this type of analysis. So our objective function will be to minimize total cost of shipping the product. The model itself is a special class of linear programming models. So if you're feeling unsure of your LP, you should go back and review that material. What it also means is that we need to define decision variables, an objective function, and a bunch of constraints. In order to do this, we need to know three things. One, the origin points and the capacity or supply per period at each. Two, the destination points and the demand per period at each. And three, the cost of shipping one unit from each origin to each destination. Let's look at an example to help us understand how we can model this type of problem. In this example, we are producing our product at three different locations in the U.S. Des Moines, Evansville, and Fort Lauderdale. After the products are produced, they need to be shipped to three d different warehouses which are located in Albuquerque, Boston, and Cleveland. This ma map shows an approximate location of these cities and also gives us the monthly capacity of each plant and the required monthly demand at each warehouse. This information satisfies the first two things we need to model the problem. The last thing we need is the per unit shipping cost from each source to each destination. Here we see the per unit shipping cost to move an item for each particular production from each particular production facility to each warehouse. So, for example, it cost $4 to ship one unit from Evansville to Boston. Often, these costs are positively correlated with the distance that must be traveled. Now, we have everything we need to formulate the problem. What are our decision variables? You should be able to answer this question. If not, then simply think about what we are trying to do. We want to know how many units to ship from each source to each destination. Therefore, we will need a decision variable that represents this quantity for each pair of source and destination. In our example here, we will have a total of nine decision variables. Now, it should be straightforward to write out the objective function. It is minimized total cost, which is simply the cost numbers shown here, multiplied by their associated decision variables. What about the constraints? Well, let's look at what the book calls the transportation matrix to help us with the constraints. So again, we have a very similar setup to what was it for the cost. And then we have both demands, in other words, the warehouse requirements, and the factory capacities. The demands are down at the bottom, capacity is off on the right. So we would like to give every warehouse the amount they want, but also make sure we do not try to ship more than we have for, from each factory. So we have the sets of constraints, two sets of constraints. First is demand, second is supply. Putting the data in this form helps us transfer it over to Excel to help us solve this type of problem. In a traditional LP, we used columns to represent variables and rows to represent constraints. In this model, we can make it more compact by keeping it in a form that looks like the transportation matrix. After introducing the transportation matrix, the book goes on to describe the stepping stone method to solve this type of problem. While that is fun if you're bored and have lots of time and the problem is small, there is a better way to solve these problems. Use Excel. So let's look at this example in Excel. 